I'm sorry, Anne. The curfew rang before I could get back last night. The guards were still looking for me this morning. That's why I picked some fun. Have you seen Mr. Moose and given me a message? Oh, yes. The warning was too late. You do now. Go back to your friends. The doctor. I can't. He's dead. Yeah. I saw his body lying in the street by the abbot's house. Before I could do anything, Roger Colbert saw me and sent the guards after me again. Heaven knows what I do now. Return to England? I can't. I've got to find the key to the TARDIS. The doctor has a special key. Without it, I can't leave. Well, do you know where it is? No. The doctor had it with him, and I'm lost. I have no time to look for it. My only hope is that it's still with his own clothes. Is he the other Oh, no. I would have had to change before he went there. The only other place I think he's been to is the shop. Oh, but we've already searched here, monsieur, looking for clothes here. And we must do it again. Please help me. Open every cupboard, every box. I must find that key. It may hinder the inquiry into the attempted assassination of de Coligny. Surely the king is insisting that de Coligny is avenged. Yes, he is. But by blaming the death of the abbot on the Huguenots, we may be able to cover our tracks. Did the king pay any attention to the abbot's death? I don't know. Fortunately, the Admiral himself is helping us. He doesn't want the inquiry yet, so that may give us a little time. Therefore, the Englishman must be caught. And killed. He must not be allowed to get back to the Abbot's house. The men are searching Paris for him. He must be found tonight. Tomorrow is St. Bartholomew's Day, and it'll be all too easy for him to evade us in the revelry. Queen Mother... Wants me to go to her. No doubt she has thought of some further scheme to protect her good name. Wait for me here, Simon. I may have more instructions for you when I get back. Well? Nothing, monsieur. There's no sign of your friend's clothes anywhere. It must be. What I found was this. But, but this is his stick. Your friend? Yes. Well, these clothes must be here somewhere. Where did you find this? In the back, monsieur. But there are no clothes there. Are you sure? Yes, I've searched everywhere. And by the stick? He, he couldn't have pretended to be the abbot dressed as he was. So he must have changed somewhere. But where? Perhaps he... Went away somewhere with the apothecary who used to live there. Well, with Presler? No, he couldn't. Why not? Because Presler is either dead or in prison. He is not. Doctor! The Catholics will not rest until you are dead. You are too impetuous, Viscount. The king is determined to prevent a further attempt. Why else do you think it will so heavy a guard on this house? A Catholic guard under a Catholic commander. The Admiral could hardly be in the care of a greater enemy. He is under the protection of the King and the Queen Mother. Gaston, you're tarring the Admiral. You're doing yourself an injustice. You better return to the room. No. First. no. If you want to leave Paris, it will be better for you and for us. The surgeon said the Admiral must not be moved. Then may God protect you. I 
I hope Henry of Navarre realizes how dangerous it is to have such a hothead in his service. He must be wrong. The commander wouldn't dare to disobey the king after what has happened. Let us hope so. Is there anything you need, Admiral? You must be grateful that the wounds are not poisoned, so that there is no fear of you dying. I do not fear death. I only hope we have nothing to fear from my staying alive. Oh, my dear boy, had you stayed at the tavern, all this mix-up could have been avoided. I did stay at the tavern. You didn't turn up. Yes, well, I was unavoidably delayed. Never mind that now. Come along, let's go. Come along. You can't now, monsieur. The curfew's wrong. What? Oh, that wretched curfew is the start of so much trouble. It'd be easy to leave Paris mm. in the morning, monsieur. Tomorrow's St. Bartholomew's Day and everyone will be celebrating. Huh. And all the trouble that's going on, I can't see what they've got to celebrate. I told you not to get involved. Oh, I tried not to. But the abbot did look like you. If I hadn't found out about Admiral de Collini being the sea beggar, then... What's that? I tried to tell you before. Admiral de Collini is one of the Huguenot leaders. The Catholics tried to shoot him. Did you say tomorrow was St. Bartholomew's Day, child? What year is this, my boy? I don't know what difference does it make. What date is it, child? Date is August the 23rd. Is that yes, 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 I know that. The year, the year. Hmm? 1572, monsieur, but surely you know that. Go home, Anne. You must leave here at once. No, I've got nowhere to go. Where were you working? At the abbot's house. You go back there. I can't. They'll you kill me. You must leave this shop, child. Doctor, what's happened? Oh, please don't interfere. Now, my dear, there must be somewhere you can stay in Paris. No, there's only my aunt's place and they'll kill me there. Oh, nonsense. Tonight, you will be quite safe. Now, you go carefully through the streets. Well, what about the curfew? Well, you've been out of the curfew before, haven't you? Yes, but they well, can't... you know how to avoid the patrols. You go back to your arms. You'll be quite safe. And you take my advice and stay indoors tomorrow. Now, do you understand? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. Now, off you go, child. Come on, off, 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 off. Oh, doctor, I don't think... Ah, get it, get it, get it. Safe journey. Doctor, I don't think she should go. Off you go, my child. Off you go. Bye. Are you sure she'll be all right? The guards are waiting I, for her. Dear Stephen, the Catholics will have other things on their minds tonight. She will be quite safe. Now then, you and I must leave Paris at once. Come. Oh, doctor, what is going on? There is no time for me to explain. Come along, boy. Come along. Oh. I apologize. I thought that... Never mind. I have it here, the order signed by the king. Our plans for tomorrow can go ahead. Thank God. God has very little to do with it. What is this? For this, madame, when those Huguenots are killed, we need have no further fear of a Protestant France. We have no need of this, Marshal. The good people of Paris know their enemies. They will take care of them. The good people? Madame, if you rouse the mob, the innocent will perish with the guilty. Innocent? Paris, they can have no innocence. France will breathe the purer air after tomorrow. And Navarre, madame, your son-in-law? Is he to be slaughtered with the others? Tomorrow, Henry of Navarre will pay for his pretensions to the crown. Madame, we must not kill Navarre. Must not. Protestant Europe will merely shed a pious tear at the death of a few thousand Huguenots. The death of a prince will launch a holy war. 
if one Huguenot life escapes me tomorrow, we may both regret this act of mercy. Not mercy, madame. Policy. Then well, Marshal. Then you must get him out of Paris. After tomorrow, even I could not save him. I will see to it, madame. And Marshal, close the gates of the city now. Well, my lord. The order has been given. You may forgive. My men are ready. Where's the list? There is no list. But I thought we are to unleash the wolves of Paris. None are to be spared. Even better, my lord. You see, I wonder. And Simon, when you have passed on the order, I have a special charge for you. My lord. Henry of Navarre. I'm to have the honor. Yes, but not of killing him. You will escort him out of Paris. But my lord! You not kill him! You will be responsible for his safety. You will have to leave tomorrow's work to others. I'll get out. On tomorrow, this city will weep tears of blood. Oh, it's nearly dawn. How many more nights have we got to watch over this Huguenot's house? To the king decrees otherwise. Why does it have to be us? We have to get past them to get back to the TARDIS. Can we make a run for it? No, 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 it's far too dangerous. Do we take a moment? We just wait. We'll be sorry to see the night over. Hello? What's this? Or as I expect. Do we leave? Go back to your quarters. We leave, sir. It's not due for an hour or more. Don't argue. Go quickly. Something we could have done. No, nothing. Nothing. In any case, I cannot change the course of history. You know that. 
The massacre continued for several days in Paris and then spread itself to other parts of France. Oh, the senseless What a terrible pain to the last. Did they all die? Yes, most of them. About 10,000 in Paris alone. The Admiral? Yes. Nichols? To leave and shut up and die. And shut up. The girl! The girl was with me! If you brought her with her, she needn't have died. But no, you had to leave her there to be slaughtered. Well, it is possible, of course. She didn't die, and I was right to leave her. Possible? Look, how possible? That girl was already hunted by the Catholic guards. If they killed 10,000, how did they spare her? Oh, you don't know, do you? You can't say for certain that you weren't responsible for that girl's death. I was not responsible. Oh, no. You just sent her back to her aunt's house where the guards were waiting to catch her. I tell you this much, Doctor. Wherever this machine of yours lands next, I'm getting off. If your researchers have so little regard for human life, then I want no part of it. We've landed. Your mind is made up. Goodbye. My dear Stephen, history sometimes gives us a terrible shock. And that is because we don't quite truly understand. Why should we? After all, we're all too small to realize its final pattern. Therefore, I don't try and judge it from where you stand. I was right to do as I did. Yes, that I found to do. Even after all this time, he cannot understand. I dare not change the course of history. Well, at least I taught him to take some precautions. He did remember to look at the scanner before he opened the doors. No. They're all gone. All gone. None of them could understand. Not even my little Susan. Or Vicky. And as for Barbara and Chatterton, Chesterton, they were all too impatient to get back to their own time. And now, Steve. Perhaps I should go home. Back to my own planet. But I can't. Together, child, I, I think you've made a mistake. Who oh, are you? Are you the police? Oh, good gracious, of course not. Mm. Well, this is a police box. It says so outside. Yes, yes, I, I know, but uh, it isn't if uh, you know what I mean. I'll run along and find another police box. Oh, 
In any case, child, what do you want to do with the policeman? Hmm? There's been an accident. A little boy's been hurt, and I've got to phone the police. Oh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you. No, you must run along and phone the police somewhere else. At the same time, phone for an ambulance. Wait a minute. If this isn't a police box, where is it? And who are you? Well, my dear, I'm a doctor of science, and this machine is for traveling through time and the relative dimensions in space. Now, you... Oh, yes. Oh, never mind, my dear. Never mind. Run along. There's something odd going on. Oh, please, child. Oh, Quick, you've got to take off. Oh, so you come back, my boy. Yes, yes, yes I'll come back. We can't go into that now. There are two policemen coming over the common towards the dark. Come coming here. Good gracious, they want to use the telephone off. Be quick, you thank you. Close. Well, tell me, young man, what made you change your mind? Hmm? How did you get in here? On me feet, same as you did. Do you realize what's happening? We've taken off. We could land anywhere. We're really traveling. Where to? We're traveling in time and space. We're not on Earth anymore. We, we could land anywhere in any age. Tell us another one. Doctor, how could you? What else could I do, dear boy? You don't want a couple of policemen aboard the TARDIS, do you? You do. You're the most inconsistent young man. Just now you were telling me off for not having that shuffling girl aboard. Ah, oh, that was different. This is no joyride, you know. You may never get home again. I don't care. What about your parents? I haven't got any. I live with me great aunt. And she won't care if she never sees me again. No, uh, no, uh, you see, you always fuss about nothing. <laughs> don't you think... She looks rather like my grandchild, Susan. I guess I've never met your granddaughter. Oh, no, 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 of course not, no. <laughs> yes, but she does, you know. What is your name, child? Dodo. What? Dorothea, really. Dorothea Chaplin. Chaplin? Yes, but uh, you're not French, are you? Don't be dumb. The granddad wants to. Doctor, it's not possible, is it? Chaplin and great, great... Yes, yes, it is possible, my boy. Very possible. Welcome aboard the TARDIS, Miss Dorothy Chaplin. Dodo. Oh, my dear, my dear. <laughs> Doctor Who's Adventures continue with a new story next Saturday at 5.15.